This is tutorial number 17, and it covers how to use the thread feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now to use the thread feature, what you need is a circle that's been cut out, or a cylinder that's been cut out, and then you're able to make a thread within it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to sketch a part, and then we're going to put the threads into it. So to start off, let's click Two Point Rectangle and let's sketch it out. Now let's sketch a couple circles in here. Let's make one here, one here, and one here. And let's dimension these circles. So let's make this one 10 mil. We'll make this one 15. And we'll make this one 5 click return and let's extrude this out. Now for the profile, highlight that red area there and we'll just bring it up 20 mil. Click OK. Now let's just rotate this on the side so you can see the cylinders that we're going to thread into. Now all we have to do is click thread and the face that we have to choose is the inside face of the cylinders. So to start off, let's do this one. Let's click the face there. And if you go to specifications, it already sizes it up automatically. So it gives you the optimal thread for the size of the hole that you're going to thread. And you can either change it from a right hand or a left hand thread. It's up to you. And you can change what kind of type it is. So it's all up to you and what kind of specs you want to put into it. So let's click OK. And if we zoom in, you can see the threads on the cylinder there. Now let's do it to this one. Let's click thread. Let's click this face. And if we go to specifications, you can see that this one is larger than the one that we just did. The last one was size 10. This one's size 15. Click OK. And we'll do the last one. Let's click thread. Click the face there. Click specifications. And this is size 5. And this time let's make it a left hand. Click OK and we've made the threads in there. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the thread feature within Autodesk Inventor.